que esta cosa no sirve. Going live in literally 20 seconds after I post this. Yes. <laughs> Link in the next. All right, thing. here we go. <laughs> we're we're going guys, we're going live in 11. Keep in mind, we're unmuted. Here we go. Four, three, two, let's go. <laughs> 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 oh, that's our intro. There you go. <laughs> okay, well, that's a great intro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So here we are. We're at another podcast today. You'll notice the setup is quite a bit different today. Usually, you see us from this way. <laughs> But we're, but we're over there now, at least for this shot. Like we said last week, we promised you an interview, and today we have that interview. Uh, but before we um, introduce our our special guest today, uh, we'd like to remind you to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Keep on telling us, you know, what do you like? And then Joseph over here, he can get his own food too. He's hungry. <laughs> we need to feed him. No, no, no. That's a meme on you. No, the Patreon is to feed you, man. We need to feed August. Okay, we can uh, we can uh, give Joseph some water because nah, he's nah, thirsty. Nah, 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 nah. I gave you water. Nah, no, no, no. I got my own water. All right, guys. Without further ado, we'll like we'd like to introduce our special guest. Hopefully, I remember the shot. No. That's not right. <laughs> it's this one. All right. Yay! Without further ado, we have our special guest. And Salvador will introduce him. All right. What's up, guys? Como están todos? Uh, aquí tenemos a Nathan. Probar el camino. Hi. Woo! <laughs> All right. So we're going to have this amazing interview with uh, Nathan. Uh, Nathan is one of uh, the greatest musicians that we know, not just because he's good at, at playing, but of heart. Of heart, man. This guy, when you talk to him, or when he he will give that time to teach you, and you know, that love, sincere love, man. Thank you, bro. I also like going out to eat <laughs> and <laughs> and music. And music. <laughs> so we're gonna ask him some questions just to get to know you, and and uh, one of the purposes uh, of this is to. To, to teach different people, not just to see the same face as always. We need to feed him as well, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but we wanna, right, right, right. <laughs> we want to be te- uh, showing you that there's other people as well that have different lifestyles, uh, different type of mentality, and we want to be a uh, value to you, um, just for the sake that, that you guys could learn that that uh, we're just not simply boring human beings. I mean, we got different lives, and Nathan is a father as well, musician. Uh, man, he makes a lot of music, a great musician, so we're excited. We're going to ask you like a lot of personal questions, and we're going to be annoying. Is that okay? Down. I'm yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so first thing first, uh, how, uh, where did you, uh, where are you from, and uh, wh- when did you start with your musical journey? All right. I'm from a couple blocks from here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, literally born, actually, a few blocks from here. Uh, Northridge Hospital. We're getting personal, right? So, mm-hmm. personal. Uh, 27 years ago, 1995. I was born April 13th. Uh, a 13th. week. Thirteenth. <laughs> now you know he's. Uh, <laughs> I made. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now they know. <laughs> uh, just because I have white hair doesn't mean you know anything. You know. But I was. I was born uh, a week before before Chamba for yeah. basically Hospital Brothers. Um, so that's where I'm from. I'm just kidding. Uh, my mom is from El Salvador. My dad's from Mexico. I was obviously, like I just mentioned, I was born here. The holy mix. The whole- <laughs> Tacos and pupusas. Pew 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 pew. My musical journey, uh, I believe it started uh, long before I can remember, honestly. Because uh, when I was about two, I think that's when I got my first piano. At least, at least what, that's what my, 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 what they've told me. Yeah. Uh, my uncle, he actually got a piano from a, from a dumpster. Really? Yeah, he took, he took it out and he put batteries, he cleaned it up and, and they gave it to me. Yeah. And I, I think it had lights. So I would see the lights, you know, I'm the little two-year-old like poking <laughs> at lights, like <laughs> following the lights. Next thing you know, I'm, I'm, I'm three and I don't remember, um, like, I'm not saying it to sound, you know, braggy or anything, but... I, I don't remember 
like struggling to understand what was in front of me. Like it's it's like I I already knew what what was in front of me. It was a piano. Uh, I already knew my my chords and everything. It was it was I don't know. It was it was surreal just to like remember that that moment. Like my seeing the my 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 first piano like right in front of me. Yeah. And I remember uh, my mom would like sing. She taught me like coritos that we do at church and stuff. Oh wow! And uh, I would play along with them. So that's why the coritos like I. I I think I can handle them pretty pretty well <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> because uh, I'm just so used to that to that environment. Um, we used to have this little little uh, tape recorder uh, with like a little mic, like little toy ones, and I would sing into tools. it, like record like my music onto it. Like I recorded some gnarly stuff on. Wow, like, it was it was still have them? no, <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> Those cassettes are probably somewhere out there, but um, after that. Around like six is when I started playing at, 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 at the church we used to go to. Um, not entirely sure why I started playing, but I do remember that I didn't want to <laughs> <laughs> because I was I was I was shy, you know. Uh, I was six years old, and you know I, I'm still introverted to this day, even though it doesn't look like it, but I am. Um, but I was six, and they were like they were messed up to me, man. Cause they were like, "Oh yeah, go go play the piano, and we'll tell you, we'll tell you if, if we can see you or not." And then I go up, and I'm like, "Okay, you know, if they can't see me, then I'll, I'll play right here." And I started playing. They're like, "Oh yeah, we can't see you at all. We can't see you." I was a chubby kid, man. I was say like, "How could you miss me on stage?" <laughs> like, and so they got me like that, and the rest is history. After that, I haven't stopped playing at church for uh, 20, 21 years now. Wow. At church. At, I, I've switched churches, obviously, and I'm at I'm Iris with, with you guys. Um, but after that, just it's been a blessing. And then music classes uh, at school, my first actual musical instrument that I learned from someone else was a recorder. Really? Uh, like maybe some of you guys also, when you guys were in third grade back in my, <laughs> my back in my day, <laughs> the little little plastic thingy. Uh, I really, I really, I don't know. I really owned that thing. That was fun to play. Um, and then after that, fourth grade is when I learned to play violin. Learned how to play violin, fourth grade, fifth grade, and that's when I really started like to learn how to read music. And then after that, when I started going into middle school, I was about like ten, I think, almost eleven. I started taking. Oh, I'm sorry. No, eight years old. Uh, still in third grade ish, I started taking piano classes also. Uh, with my with my uh, with my teacher, uh, his name was Samuel. Ironically, <laughs> Samuel uh, Borusco. I say ironically because we have another teacher named Samuel too. Um, amazing musician, professional. Play, uh, plays the viola. I know there's a lot of hate about violas out there. With a, uh, another channel, two. No one violin, likes violas. On trip, I like I like violas. And, <laughs> and I love that channel too, but I'm not here to promote that channel. I'm here to talk with Next Lesson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, don't, don't hate us. Hey, we can collaborate later. <laughs> that's, that's having faith right there. Yeah. All right, faith. guys. Thank, thank you for that, Nathan. We love hearing everybody's origin story. Everybody's got a different one, but today we got a little ad break for you guys. Remember to check out the Patreon over here, Next Lesson, patreon.com slash Next Lesson Music. We got... Salvador's presets over here. We have his daughter Dave preset for the timeline. We have his tanked preset for the big sky Woo! and his tasty preset for the Mobius. Make with sure an eye. <laughs> tasty with an eye, exactly. You gotta be built different, right? You gotta make it different. You gotta be different. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. <laughs> Anyways, guys, make sure to check us out over there. Remember, you can pick these up by becoming a musician. It's only is it four ninety nine or five dollars a month? Five, five bucks. It's five bucks a month. If you want to also just support and uh, with one dollar a month, you can do that as well. Uh, we appreciate all all help that you guys do. And without further ado, I think we can get into the, our next line of questions. So I think Salvador is ready for us. All right. So I'm very well known in the group of asking like deep questions, deep, 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 but deep questions. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us first. We want to know. Uh, How's your lifestyle? Like, how do you maintain the priorities or balance within music? You have a wife and a, and a daughter, beautiful daughter, and you know your work and just participating in so much. 
and you do more than just music. You know, you, uh, we know you obviously personally. You you uh, help people, not just uh, not just like musically, but in the sense of getting and helping them get better. You know, in their way of path of life. Uh, but how do you maintain all of that? Like uh, and just maintaining that priority in a way. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It's it's it was difficult at first uh, to keep everything uh, in line and balance per se. But number one priority, I think, for me and for all of us here, uh, will always be God. You know, and putting God first was what helped me understand where everything else goes. You know, because with what I do, with, uh, where we work. And everything else we do outside of work and friends and family, uh, there was always like something, someone telling me like, hey, you know, you don't spend time with me, you don't talk to me, and that was like a big indicator because sometimes I would focus too much on one thing mm-hmm. and like leave other things aside. So what I started to do, and I'm still working on it because my wife, my wife is amazing, and she has like the schedule, like an agenda, and she writes everything down that we have to do. And what I started doing is maybe not so much write it down, but I keep mental notes because <laughs> <laughs> it's probably, probably a bad, bad advice, but I keep mental notes of like, uh, what are those things that I need to focus on today? You know, what are the things I can wait? And sometimes when I have those things I can wait and someone's like, dude, we got to get this done. Like, like, no, I could wait another day. And I, I don't worry about it until the next day, literally. So that's why sometimes people see me like very calm, very chill, most of the time. Uh, <laughs> I'll be smiling or something, unless I'm like stressed out. Yeah. Um, but when I'm stressed out, that's when I really have to sit down and be like, okay, what do I need to do today? What can wait? Because sometimes the stress we go through is, it's really trivial, it's, it's temporary, you know? And, and we worry about things uh, that are gonna happen in the future when they're not gonna happen today. And I think if we, if we just focus and take baby steps today uh, and work on those things, then everything else becomes a lot easier. So that's pretty much uh, what I've been able to, to learn on how to like manage all these things. That, that my sector at church, well, back when I was a leader, uh, when I was in school, uh, teaching music classes with you guys, um, uh, serving at church, musician, singing, and all these little things, you know, a lot, a lot of different components. So... Just take a deep breath and focus on what needs to be done today. And if something needs to be done tomorrow, then plan for it, but then do it tomorrow. Nice. So we have it right there. Uh, we want to give value to you, the viewer. Uh, even if you're not a musician, uh, just to, to know what he said, to take baby steps, to understand where's your priorities, to know where, where you're going, where you're headed, and, and you know what's your first... First, first thing. So yeah, so we wanted to sh- we wanted to know that personal life of yours, you know. But uh, I'm more within that. Uh, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna switch off with a couple questions. So I'm I'm just a deep personal guy, you know. So we got the technical dude right here. We got <laughs> which is uh let's switch off first with uh, August Manzanares. So thank you, Nathan. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. We're gonna switch off. And before we switch off and we get into the interesting series of questions, make sure to check out the Patreon over here at patreon.com slash music. We have a whole list of presets. If you follow us, you know that recently we, we put out the uh, Stry, Stryfecta uh, presets over there for uh, the Strymans. That is Big Sky, Timeline, and the Mobius. I'm forgetting names. I'm trying to double task over here. If we go over here to this, you can see August over there getting ready uh, for his deep questions, deep technical <laughs> questions. For Very five, deep. <laughs> for five bucks a month, you can become uh, a musician over there. Not that you guys aren't musicians, but for our tier system, that's what we've called it. And if you you really aren't interested in uh, getting presets and stuff like that behind the scenes, which trust me, behind the scene content is coming your way pretty soon we i think we we make a lot of mess behind the scenes so hopefully you guys will be interested in that uh but if you just want to support the channel and 
you want to receive our gift to you, which is the basic preset pack that we have available on that tier. You can become a general supporter over there. And I mean, look at the content. We have sound samples made by the man himself over here, Salvador Manuel. Dang. Damn, for his <laughs> presets, all that. We have Specular Tempest presets from August and hey, the old me. HX Stomp presets from your uh, yours truly over here, Joseph. So let's get to the interview. Back over there. All right, guys, we're back here. We switched off. Salvador is no longer with us. He's, <laughs> he's off in another shot. <laughs> 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 all right, guys. So he went all deep. Now we're going very, very much more deeper. So, bro, Nathan, legend, amazing, oh, composer. <laughs> All right, you'll play on Sunday. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, huge question. How many instruments can you play? Ah, uh, this question. Um, I can play, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, uh, I, I can play several. You can use your fingers to count. <laughs> If he can count them, I, can count. <laughs> I can. Okay, I can play several, but I can play uh, a few well, at least at least to the standard I, I put myself. Because I don't consider myself to be a, a very proficient guitarist. I do my, know my you know my basic ABCs about the the guitar, so I can defend myself. You know, if someone says, "Hey, we need a guitarist," like I'll defend myself. Not to play lead guitar. That's a whole different story, and, and, and that's 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 not in my league right there. I'll play rhythm, I play acoustic, but lead guitar is not my not my jam right now. I, I'm still working on it. But keyboard, keyboard, piano is, is my number one. Uh, not a lot of people know this, but the drums is actually my second instrument, uh, and the bass, the bass, I love the bass. The bass is amazing. Um, the guitar is better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guitar two, guitar two, acoustic guitar. I love the acoustic guitar. It's it's uh, it's place in the band. It just sits so well because uh, it's so I don't know. It's so subtle and and warm and and I I, I love I, a good warm tone. Yeah, like honestly, like your acoustic. I, I've played it. I played with it before. It's beautiful. This acoustic I was playing it earlier. It's beautiful, beautiful. You'll find out why he was playing with it earlier. But yes. that's another video. Yes. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, uh, I started playing the trombone a couple years ago. Um, again, I have this, like this um, inclination towards instruments that are like in a, in a lower register, like the the bass, the the trombone. I played baritone sax in in, in uh, or jazz band in middle school, and I don't know. It's just like this thing that that I, I love instruments that can harmonize or can like can fit in. in in, in a different or, or county. <laughs> yeah, so far that's like six instruments you've named uh, off. I played the violin. There you go. Uh, is an instrument, that counts. <laughs> um, but who didn't play that in middle school? Actually, I didn't. So I guess I can do that. I can count myself there. Yeah, that one's, yeah, that one can be. Um, sure, <laughs> we'll count. <laughs> I've played, uh, I think it's called the melodica. A little tubi. Piano thing. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, that's kind of like an extension of a piano. Yeah, basically. So I won't count it. Uh, there's a accordion too. Uh, that one. Piano that players can do that. Yeah, and then you have like the whole oh, open. Yeah, so it, it's a whole process. Yeah. Sure, we'll count it. Yeah, let's count that one, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. I started playing the trumpet, but I don't think that one really counts because I I still I'm still working on that one. Mm. But yeah, there's there's quite a few I have in the arsenal. Yeah. He's a one man band right here. Quite literally. He could do, maybe he doesn't have that one man band technique or the actual equipment to do all of that, but <laughs> give him enough time, he'll, he'll whip up something together, right? I'll try. And, uh, <laughs> you did answer this earlier for those of you who are very uh, actually paying attention here, but what is your favorite instrument? The keyboard, the piano. Number one. Definitely. Uh, even though I might like have more fun sometimes playing another instrument. Mm -hmm. Like it's not that I get bored of it, but it's just when you're you're a musician, you you appreciate all the instruments and that that like mix sometimes you know. So occasionally I'll go back to the keyboard and piano because um, that's one of the instruments like any any musician needs to know. Uh, not not just because it's a keyboard like oh something like I don't know the keyboard is really uh, in tune with uh, like theory. You know when you learn theory, explain theory, the half steps and everything, whole steps. 
uh, visually, the piano is, is very easy to, to It's understand. the simplest to understand, mm -hmm. or at least that visual concept. Yeah. I'm a visual learner, man, so the piano helps a lot. Exactly, yeah. Honestly, dude, uh, in the as I got older, I've been playing the guitar a couple of years now. I low-key wish I started with the piano. <laughs> I love the guitar and everything. I love all of my pedals. I love all of that. But I do wish I would have started with the piano, man. Yeah, I, I think I think um, no matter what instrument you start with, uh, definitely you know stick to one and, and and perfect your craft, work on it, get good at it, and when you get the chance, learn learn something else, you know. And and I'm glad you're you know the piano, like the chords you sent me the other day. <laughs> I'm like you know we're learning more instruments. I've been learning the piano a little bit, and I came up some, with some funky chord progressions, man. They sounded sick. Yeah, and it helps because then you start to understand uh, the role of other people in the band. You know, you said like, oh, okay, the pianist could do this, the uh, guitarist could do this, and, and all this stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And so, we we have heard you can play at least nine different things so far. <laughs> I say so far because you never know. Maybe one day this guy's gonna pick up the bagpipes. I don't know. <laughs> 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 but one thing. Uh, you got nine different things. The maracas. <laughs> <laughs> you got nine different things. How do you practice that? What are your practicing techniques? How do you go about, you know, how long do I practice this? Do you practice them one after the other in, I don't know, a three-hour time span? For each one for maybe an hour. These instruments one day, these instruments another day. What's your thought process on that? Basically, uh, I'll just grab my instrument, you know, and... and if I, if I do have the time, I'll probably go like hours at it, you know, just straight at like uh, learning either techniques or, or doing licks and stuff. Um, but I think to really get down like to the nitty gritty with it, like take uh, to the techniques of an instrument, um, you really have to sit down and schedule your time. Because what used to happen to me is that I would like get desperate to learn you know, a song or, or some cool thing I, I, I learned, but I never really scheduled the time to learn it, you know, or learn the technique to do it. And I think that's one thing as musicians, uh, we, we, we shouldn't compromise, is taking to taking the time to learn the technique. And that's why some people are like, oh, I don't need to learn like classical music or you know, anything. But you'd be surprised how helpful it can be. Exactly, because classical music forces you to use technique. You it's don't have technique. any other choice but to use technique. <laughs> so, honestly, learn classical music if you have the chance to do so first. And little by little, because I'm going to be honest, man, it's not easy. It's, yeah, it, it gets it gets harder along the way, for sure. Uh, and then those techniques will help you learn all the contemporary stuff. Now, am I saying classical is more important than, than contemporary? No, it just go, it really goes hand in hand. It's, it's very relevant to today. And if you don't like classical music, then uh, there's definitely techniques out there that you should uh, work on first. Because the last thing you want is to play a chord on the, on the keyboard and use these three fingers to play a, a major triad, you know? Uh, you don't want to use three fingers like that, you know? There, you you got to be smart about it. And then there's all these crazy things, complex things. You're like, you know, you can't, you know, it's the only letters of the alphabet I know are ABC. You know, I got to learn all the other letters too to, to, to talk, you know? Yeah. So definitely... Uh, take your time to learn, learn the techniques first and, and, and schedule your time you know as, don't get discouraged at all uh, if it takes an hour or, or two to learn something but at least you worked on that one thing and even if it's just one one a week because that's what what I used to do uh, when I was learning techniques for the piano like it took me one week to learn like some like some trilly stuff on, on the keyboard to play one piece one one song oh, okay. and, and it, it, it takes time but you, you need to dedicate yourself to that uh, also at least with other instruments uh, I believe it's the same you have to take the baby steps but you need to schedule your your, your, your time efficiently and and be intentional be deliberate and do it uh, because Sometimes we'll be like super excited to like, oh yeah, I got a guitar now, I got a trumpet now, and then you go for it, and then a few days later your motivation is down the drain. So what defeats motivation is your discipline. Being disciplined is what's gonna actually pull you through, is what's gonna keep you going even if you're not motivated, even if you're, you're discouraged sometimes. If you're disciplined, uh, you'll be able to learn honestly any instrument, you know? And, and that's why you see like little kids 
Uh, <laughs> like make, they make us want to quit, you know. But they're like super disciplined in, in, in their household and, and at school, and they're just like amazing uh, instrumentalists. Yeah. All right. So one last question before we go into the ad break. Metronome. Do you practice with it? Oh, that's a good question. <sighs> the metronome. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. I do practice with the metronome. In, it's a must. It's a must. Right. <laughs> why why because sometimes you're not the only one playing so when you're playing with a band you know you need to stick with the tempo with everyone or at least follow the tempo you know you can't be back and forth not like me because <laughs> the tempo will go back and forth you know it'll sometimes you know but uh, it, you got you got to follow the tempo <laughs> all right thank you so much all right so we're gonna go to a little ad break right now uh i know we mentioned the patreon but what about our socials what about the rest of the stuff what's going on with next that's music well we're active you can see over here we've opened our link tree uh link where we've how we've put everything together for you. You don't have to sweat on anything. You don't, you don't have to worry. Hey, where's the YouTube link? Where do I even get the link to the latest video? This thing updates itself. So every single time you click, it will take you to the latest, uh, to the latest video as well as our YouTube channel, our Patreon, so you can support, as mentioned before, our Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Christian really loves that TikTok. I don't know why. <laughs> like he, he's doing this little dance move, you know. And so if you want to see that content over there, you know, some of them also he, he gets excited over there on the TikTok, you know. Woo! When you give him that that coffee, he's he's gone, bro. He's on TikTok the whole day. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, make sure to check so us out. That's why he doesn't respond to the message. That's <laughs> <why>. <laughs> Yeah, but make sure uh, over there you can click on the link in the description. Well, in the description, in our bio, everywhere you'll find this link tree link, and it will take you over there. So without without any interruptions left, I think we have a very valuable segment right now. So let's head towards that. Chamba, take it away. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Like and subscribe. All right. But before uh, we we're, we're about a little bit, just a little couple more questions. So we know that you're uh, that you play the instruments, but we also know that you're a singer. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think one of the the beautiful things as a musician, we need to learn also how to sing because sometimes we have these melodies, and sometimes we, when we have like an idea right in our in our heads, it's like it sounds so beautiful, right? And record it, and like. <laughs> And then when, when we go back to the recording, we sound like... <laughs> <laughs> so, Expectation versus reality. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. So we wanted to ask you, what, what are some some tips of singing techniques that you could recommend? Like just that, like Christian Tahai, he's a really good singer. So, yeah. so like what's something that you could give a, like a, a couple of advice to, to those musicians that are, 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 uh, are, are hearing this? Yeah, so if, if you're aspiring uh, uh, to sing in the future, um, I think, again, going back to techniques, you got to learn how to do the techniques because uh, sometimes people will sing, it'll sound very nice, but maybe they're straining their throat mm. and it'll it'll hurt you in the long run. There's people that lose their voice because, because of that. Um, so some uh, a tip I can give to you, to everyone is, honestly, there's a lot of videos on YouTube already uh, on the basics of singing, what technique to use. For example, singing with your diaphragm. You know, you got to breathe and expand this area right here. You don't lift your shoulders because the moment you lift your shoulders, it's like you're filling your 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 your, your chest with uh, right here with the air. But you really want to focus on this area. And when you sing, you got to push from here. It's like honestly, it's gonna sound you know <laughs> exactly. Honestly, it's like the the same the same uh, uh, muscles that you use for. Uh, it's for singing too, <laughs> for the, you know, um, and from there, there's vocal warm ups. Vocal warm ups are very essential. Um, something I like to do when I maybe I'm short on time because I know like it, life right now is, is very very busy. Uh, we live in a day and age where everything is very instant. You know, we yes. got, we gotta go up and down, up and down in in meetings, virtual, uh, driving, whatever it is. Um, if you're driving in the car, uh, put some uh, exercises on Spotify. There's local warm-ups that you can follow. And and honestly, when I'm maybe like short on time, I'm in the shower or something, like getting ready, 
uh, to go uh, sing. Uh, I blast the the <laughs> I blast the the, the hot water. <laughs> Probably not the safest thing to do, but you know I let like some steam in, in the shower and kind of like breathe it in, so you know it uh, ah, mo- moisturizes the inside, you know, hydrates them, <laughs> and then I do my vocal my vocal vocal exercises. Like that, I've seen people use uh, special masks also for that. Really? To, uh-huh, to, um, Never heard of it. to uh, really like moisten, I guess is the word. I forgot what it is. Moist. Like your, your, your <laughs> vocal cords, your throat, and all preparation for, for singing. Because uh, singing on a very dry, unprepared throat, uh, uh, it's, you're, you, you can't give your best. Um, and then from there, when you're on the go, you don't want to do... A lot of the singing you could do like your warm-ups like you know lip trills uh maybe your breathing exercises uh for that but in regards to like singing using your diaphragm sitting uh not the best thing to do really? because you gotta you gotta use your your, your your diaphragm so the best thing to do is you know standing up and just relax your body uh yeah the car i don't recommend <laughs> doing that <laughs> but definitely vocal uh, uh uh like little uh tiny exercises in the car they help. Nice. Yeah, those, those are little things that I, I've, I've learned on the way. Um, yeah. All right. Just one more question. So, well, we know that you're going to be participating in the amazing band that we know of. Yes. Right? And, and, and it's, a, it's a new journey. But what's, what's a tip that you could give to the viewers of, like, of preparing gigs? Preparing your gigs, what type of instruments, what type of equipment do you need? You as a piano player, right? But something generalized. What do we? What is it that we need for a gig? Yeah, basically, well, uh, you need your your what do you call it? Your your tool, obviously your your own instrument. <laughs> uh, we we can't really function unless we have our, our, our own instrument. Um, then you need your your basics. You need to know if you're gonna be moving around and there's amps. Then uh, you don't need an amp. Use, you know, need your maybe your pedals and effects. Uh, if there are no apps, then that's when you really need to. But you, you gotta know, know what you want. Mm. Uh, then you get your preamps and stuff. But you need to like prepare that beforehand. In the case with uh, keyboard, uh, keyboard is you don't. Sometimes there are already keyboards, you know, wherever you go. But sometimes there isn't. So you wanna maybe uh, if you want a full on eighty eight keyboard, you know. With the, the whole the whole enchilada like they say uh, then you really want to you know protect it get a case uh, if you have I've seen keyboardists with pedal boards too really yeah uh, it's, it's really cool they have their own delay so because sometimes we're too busy with our hands you know so we just have to use our, our feet also like, like this <laughs> <laughs> you know organists organists use, use uh, they play the organ with their feet too to play the, the lower notes so <laughs> <laughs> happy feet <That's> true. <laughs> happy feet Bro, those organs are sick, dude. I remember seeing someone playing with them. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you hear all this singing and uh, 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 loader notes in the, with, the, with, their, with the feet. So, appreciation to the organists out there. Um, but as a as a keyboardist or a person that, you know, to go gigging, if you have your sounds on a laptop, you know, invest in a laptop. Uh, if it's on a, on a, on a, on a keyboard. Uh, but definitely, definitely, I think something... Uh, a lot of giggers out there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounded kind of weird. Yeah, my bad. Gig. Uh, <laughs> gig. gig. Uh, <laughs> uh, external hard drive. Definitely mm. an external hard drive. Basically, if you're going to be using uh, a laptop, because uh, we want to free up as much space on, on the laptop, at least for the for what we're doing for 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 uh, the band Iris Worship. Um, the laptop doesn't have the greatest amount of space. So in order to free up that space and, and, and go easy on the CPU, uh, external hard drive and an interface so that it doesn't use the sound card on the laptop. It makes it easier on, on, on the laptop and there's, there's no crashing. At least right now I'm using Ableton, uh, Ableton Live for, for, for a concert and it hasn't crashed yet. You know, I, I love working on Logic Pro on, on you know, editing and mixing and all that stuff. But it has crashed on me a lot, mm. and I'm, I'm not, you know, Ooh. talking smack about Logic. I love Logic. I love Logic. <laughs> but, just have... <laughs> but it's just, it's just funny to see how, uh, you know, Ableton has able has 
<laughs> Ableton, Ableton. Pun like intended. Able. Yeah. Oh, Ableton. now I get it. <laughs> oh. Able Ableton has has been able to uh, play all our tracks of uh, all the songs that that we have without uh, any crashing, without any freezing, without any uh, you know little problems. It's been very very reliant. So as a musician. If you're going to be running tracks, stems, or something, I can't recommend enough using Ableton for your live performances. You can, there's other apps out there that are, that are free, like uh, the, the Prime app from Loop, Loop Community is another one that we use for, uh, for going out, you know, in case we don't have a, a guitarist or, or, or a pianist, we use, we use that uh, for, for our backup vocals. It's, a, it's an awesome app that anyone could use. You upload your, your tracks easily. Um, or you just have the tracks on your phone, you know, just click and play. If they're pan left and right, click and sequence. Um, so just the little things, if, if you're going out, uh, have really helped me to, to know what I need to take, what I need to do. And um, but Ableton, Ableton has changed my life, Man, honestly. Able, able. We're, we're able to. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, yeah. The, is Ableton free? Am I am I mistaken? Uh, there's a, a trial, a trial for ninety days. You get the full version. Ninety days, yeah. dang, three months for free. That's pretty yeah. sick, honestly. Wow. The I, full I, version, right? The full, you get the whole the whole thing. Yeah. The whole enchilada for days three trial. months. Hey, you better take advantage. All right, real quick before we um before we get into one of our final segments, uh, we gotta check out the 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 YouTube channel, right? Yes. <laughs> so. Just reminding you guys, you know, Sunday uploads, you can always check us out at youtube.com slash next lesson music, or you could just search up next lesson music. Uh, you'll see the podcast will be uploaded uh, as soon as this thing is over. Uh, you'll see all of our other videos over here. You should check out uh, the previous podcast. Uh, it's Apple Music versus Spotify. No, that's the one before. Is that one before? Uh, <laughs> but the, the all right. <laughs> it's okay, guys. I like the, the Apple Music one more because we were bashing Ooh. on Apple. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Nah, 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 uh, nah. What do you use? Spotify. Yay. And he's booing me for bashing on Apple. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So remember, guys, tomorrow, Sunday, 12 p.m., you can see our next video. And it's not this podcast, spoilers. obviously. It's spoilers. a different video. <laughs> no spoilers yet. But uh, keep it, keep an eye out. I think you'll enjoy the next one. So. I think we had a question from someone who was uh, in the comment section over there. August, can you read it out That for us? is a fact. So Robert, he had asked, uh, what are words of motivation that Nathan can give to someone that is learning an instrument that wants to give up? And did that ever occur to him? Uh, dang, bro, how did you word this? Did that ever <laughs> occur to him? Did that ever occur to you where you wanted to give up to? So motivation for someone that wants to give up while learning an instrument. Okay. And did that happen to you? So okay, we're uh, don't give up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> honestly, uh, I think it sounds very cliche. It sounds very you know like everyone says, oh don't give up. Well, more but honestly, do. do not give up. Why? Because your dreams can come true. They will. Uh, there's this whole thing like oh manifest it, manifest it, you know out there. Uh, but it's, I don't think it's necessarily manifesting it. You need to do it. Honestly. Uh, you can't, you can't, you can't want, you can't desire, you can't dream if, 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 uh, if it doesn't go hand in hand with actually doing something about it, you know, people out there be like, you know, I'm going to manifest financial freedom. I'm going to manifest, uh, health and stuff. But if I'm going to manifest it and I'm out here, you know, eating chips and, and, and Coca-Cola, I know I'm big, <laughs> but you know, I've, I've been changing my, 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 my diet. Um, but if I say, you know, I want to be the best musician out there. I want to manifest that, but I'm sitting around playing FIFA all day. I'm sitting around, um, uh, on TikTok all day or something and I'm doing anything about it. Then obviously someone's going to want to give up. So my best advice to anyone out there that is learning a new instrument or honestly learning learning a new skill, uh, get it done. Don't hesitate. Just just do it. You know, Mikey, right? <laughs> just just do it. Schedule your time and, and, and go for it because uh, our 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 time here on Earth is is short. Uh, people say there's more. I must tiempo que vida, whatever they say. I don't know what it is, 
But honestly, that's, that's, that's not true. Our time here is very short. So take the time to learn something and just hang in there. And if you need help or anything, I'm sure that there are people around you, you know, hit us up, you know, uh, DM us, DM this guy, uh, DM Chamba, DM me. Uh, we're more than glad to, to lend a hand, you know. So. Yeah, of course, uh, over there, down in the description down below, if you haven't noticed already, we have put Nathan's social media links over there where you can find updates on what he's been up to and what he's he's going on into i'm not verified that's, yet but yeah we'll get not verified. <laughs> no check mark we don't know if it's him or not <laughs> uh, but hopefully that has answered your question robert over there as well if you're someone who's watching right now and you have a question for the man himself over here he's not here all the time he does you know how much we had to pay him off to be here pizza a lot, <laughs> too much food speaking of diets <laughs> <laughs> food man <laughs> no but all jokes aside if you have a question for him as we're uh, concluding this interview right here Make sure to drop it in the comments down below. August over there, as you can see, in the control center, which is a few feet from where we're in. <laughs> Interesting thing. This room is a lot smaller than you guys think. It looks big. Hey, yeah. uh, they don't know that. He didn't know that. <laughs> we're like a yard away. He was, he, he was very surprised when he walked into our studio. Hey, it was, being, it's effective, being effective. Being effective. It's, a, that's it's a very that's nice. It's very nice. I, I love it. I love it. The heat is beautiful in here. Bro. <laughs> no, yeah. but sauna. Yeah, so, you know, we're wrapping things up over here. We've heard you do a lot of things, and I know this interview isn't enough time to go over all the little bits and tricks you've learned over how many years of being... Uh, too many to count. Too man. many, yeah, too many. <laughs> but too many that I don't want to count anymore. Because <laughs> then you'll know his age again. <laughs> no, but uh, I know it's been wonderful having you over here. Uh, we've received a lot. Yes, a round of applause for the man himself. It's been truly a blessing to the channel, to the viewers over here who watch us day in, day out over here. Um, but before we leave, before we conclude this podcast, I don't even know what time it is. It's 45 right now. We still have a couple of minutes, but let us know. What, what, it, what are you up to right now? What am I up to? Honestly, lots of things. First of all, <laughs> I recently, recently became a father. Yeah! You know, um, it's it's such a blessing to be a father, to see a, a little 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 creation that looks just like you, is like it's mind blowing, you know, and um, yeah, working uh, our best with our wife with with. with oh. the- <laughs> <laughs> and with that we conclude guys. <laughs> <laughs> <Ollie's just married. laughs> with my with what? my wife working working our best with with, <laughs> yeah. with my wife. Um You see he started to... saying that word, bro. <laughs> it's not looking good for you, bro. I you know. Can, can this get ended out? Oh wait no, never mind, it's live. <laughs> it's live, yeah. <laughs> She's looking at that. It's like, oh man. <laughs> Delete her comment <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's a blessing just to, to work with my wife on on in, in everything, honestly, in general, she's my best friend. Uh, she's gone back to work, so the transition has been a little tough, at least with the sleeping schedule and our work schedule and everything. It's it's, it's a lot that she commented, didn't she? Yeah, I figured. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jen. My wife. <laughs> Hello, wife. Uh, Jenny says, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, oh, she's got me under the scope. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I love you, Jennifer. You're my everything in my life. Aww. And I should probably say that to you more in person, but hey, I'm on a podcast. So. <laughs> <laughs> and she keeps going. <laughs> um, but besides that, uh, and, and other responsibilities, right now we're working, oh, working on a concert for the release of our, our new album. Called Mi Sueños. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> called Mi Sueños. It'll be uh, out soon. Available on on, on all, the, all the platforms: Spotify, Spotify, Apple Music. Oh. Um, I think. Not exclusive iTunes. to Spotify. Uh, actually, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll, it'll be on the major platforms, I assume. Yeah, YouTube, uh, and a couple a couple uh, others music. out there. SoundCloud wow. for the. <laughs> for, the, for the bootleg the rappers out there. <laughs> for the weird... <laughs> um, so yeah it'll be out there 
I would just uh, I'm getting ready with the with our our, our backing tracks or, or the stems, uh, which are if you if you guys don't know, stems are individual tracks of each instrument or voice that are going to be playing simultaneously, like if they're actually there with us, and it's a big help because it's, the band sounds bigger. Now stems uh, shouldn't be a necessity. They com they complement the band. They they help you sound better, but you yourself should sound good already. So like if it cuts out for us, then our band should be able to handle itself without the help of of, of, of the stems. But should. stem yeah <laughs> keyword should. 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 should should but it should should be fine. And we're just getting with, with selling the tickets, uh, with uh, promoting it, and our new well first actually uh, music video will be released I believe on Monday. Monday the wow, look at oh, that. Dang. Sick. Twenty fifth of next week. I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, Something like that. Yeah. Monday. <laughs> yeah. 25, 25, 26, roughly. Yeah. I, I I'm I'm looking really bad <laughs> right now representing the band. <laughs> yeah, the twenty fifth of, hey, of hey, April. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> we thought it was gonna be good promotion, but uh, yeah, no. <laughs> no, no. that went south. Uh, as soon as we get links to that, we'll link it down in the description. Uh, of course, in the description, all we have is his socials. Uh, of course, they're gonna be there. I'm hoping you're gonna promote it, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we will. We will. It's gone, right? No, but we'll link it down below as soon as we get access to those. Spotify, of course, Apple Music. Yes, there's a few of like two of you guys who still use it, right? After that podcast where we bashed them <laughs> it was it was 10 minutes of apple music and 50 of just spotify oh, you know, <laughs> it was a little it was a little biased yeah it was it was tragic i don't blame you guys i love spotify <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i don't know if the comment section had any other questions if not um, I know the wife does. Yeah, she. It's gonna be a long ride home. Not, not currently. <laughs> He's gonna be thinking, should I go home? <laughs> He's gonna sleep <laughs> That couch is looking nice. <laughs> the couch is. Jo You're <laughs> aging. <laughs> Jokes on you, Chris. I already do. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But well, what a blessing to have you on the channel. Yes, I think thank I you for everyone else. Over thank here. you so much. It's been truly a blessing. Uh, there's gonna be a video coming out. Uh, Different to other people, I'm stuttering already. Different to the other people we've had, we've also, uh, besides the podcast today, getting to know Nathan, getting to know about his new project coming out, Mis Sueños over there. Yes, it's in Spanish. Uh, Siri's gonna have a very difficult time if you tell her, you know, to search it up. Mis Sueños. <laughs> Mis Sueños. Mis Sueños. <laughs> but uh, there's gonna be a video coming out with this man over here. We don't know when we're gonna put that out, but it's gonna be in a few it's weeks. Coming soon. It's coming soon. It's a banger. It's a banger. We could Wait, that means say. I'm coming back? Uh, yeah. You're going to be gone, but you're going to be back yeah. at the same time. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how it's, Yeah, sometimes like we get haircuts and stuff, and then once we're on the podcast, it looks completely different. And it, it's just like the upload is like, Chama's beard is huge, and then in the podcast, just trimmed. Like. He gets fades. <laughs> <laughs> the little waves, uh, the wave, wave check. <laughs> well, but what a blessing! What a podcast! Uh, if you have any further questions or anything, make sure to put it down in the comment section down below. We'll get to you as soon as possible. August is behind the keyboard over there, uh, doing his best to respond to everything. Thank you to all of you guys who uh, stuck with us through this interview. Not even stuck with us. I think it was a, it was. A blast. It was a blast interviewing you. I know I didn't have any questions. They <laughs> asked all the questions. Uh, but wow. It yeah, honestly, it's 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 been fun being here. Uh, it's a blessing for me also to be able to share the little things I know. I, I honestly don't. Cons they call me a professional earlier today. Uh, <laughs> I, I I really don't. I don't consider myself. He's uh, uh, <laughs> I don't consider myself at that level just yet. But I do like to share. The little things I've learned along the way, and I hope they, they help you guys out too. Yeah. So and with that guys. being said, it's Nathan over here. I thought he was going to do the intro, the, the outro, but he didn't do it. It's Nathan over here, Joseph over here. Make sure to check out the links down in the description and next lesson music all over the place. And patreon.com slash next lesson music where you can find presets. Uh, there's more coming your way, I can guarantee you that. There's more stuff behind the scenes. Damn, our experience with this guy, there's definitely going to be behind the scenes over there. So, 
stay posted over there on the musician tab as well <laughs> as uh, you know just everything in general stay up to date with that so with that being said we conclude this thanks guys right, thank you guys for joining alright done 41 views 41? best performance